this is the little golden conure that hatched June the 7th. Oh, I meant July the 7th. <laughs> July the 7th of uh, 2013. Let's see. Look, look how. You gonna give me a little squirty? Huh? Come in. Come in. Talk to me. Come in. Talk to me. Well, talk to me. Come in. Um, I really am sorry that, that he doesn't or she doesn't have a, a, a companion, you know. They really do bond with one another or imprint from one another, learn from one another. This one knows my voice now. Spoiled. Can cry, cry. Oh, does a little like hiccups. Not a hiccup, but <laughs> like a, a spoiled tantrum baby. Human. <clears throat> and uh, I thank God I finally broke him of that. That didn't work, but oh, my heart just wrenched. Um, so I make sure, you know, the first instance that he's uh, comfortable, he or she is comfortable in the uh, brooder. This one is taken 93 temperature, which surprises me. If golden conure babies are um, hard or difficult to get to raise, and I have heard that, that they die within the first week, I would say it's the temperature settings. I'm under the impression that this baby is, um, as a cockatoo baby, uh, heat um, sensitive. Uh, my umbrellas, Mama Lucan's, would be like at 96 at this time, 95, and I would consider that um, very high at this point for a umbrella baby. <clears throat> so I, I gear that on this. Uh, the blueheads, this this baby's not like the blueheads. The blueheads would still be in a temperature of 96, 95. And this one is just ready to go down to 92. Actually, I had it 92, and he was very comfortable. And and I notice a little slight discomfort, so I jacked it back up to 93. And he will stay there today. But this is this is the golden conure that hatched uh, July the 7th, 2013. And uh, I just wanted everyone to see that. Not only is he alive, but she is alive, um, vibrant, developing very nicely. Um, I, one feeding, did put some um, of my mash in the formula, and I didn't like the, the, there was just something that said no, no. So this baby's been on KT, for my cause, straight. No, no additives at all. No Udo's oil, no green... No uh, wheatgrass, no nothing, because I want to see what the golden conure does that um, I've been told that people have a real difficult time keeping them alive. Of course, I heard that with the hyacinth as well when I first got into uh, propagating the hyacinth. Hi, honey. Look at, look at how vibrant he is. He just knows that I'm here, don't you, sweetie? Yes. <laughs> Eyes are open. Uh, not yet. Let's see. No, 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 no. Just adorable. This is Sharon Peffley, Heaven on Earth, Avian Acre, Loxahatchee Groves, Florida. July the 21st, 1913. And this is the way the baby should be. He's at 93 and comfortable, no crying. I would say that if the golden conure is crying, you've got a problem. Check the temperature, the humidity. Now I can have uh, those uh, towels over there, wet, wet. I have to keep them damp, they're wet. The heat index goes up and this baby's very uncomfortable. Uh, 
yes, I would say if the Golden Conyers crying, you got a problem, check it out. Don't let it continue.